Well, good morning, everybody. Apologies for the noise. I am in central Manchester about to do the Sportsman podcast. I've just got off a train, and this is my first opportunity to react to the news that Stephen Schumacher has been stacked by Stoke City. A complete shocker. To say it's out of left field would be an understatement. Out of absolutely nowhere, Schumacher's been in at Stoke, I think, nine, ten months. We're sort of four or five games into the new season. Stoke went under at Oxford at the weekend. And I cannot, for the life of me, fathom what has happened for the Coates family, who we always hold up as a good owner in respect of their support for Stoke, you know, kind of financially cannot be questioned since they've been down here in the championship. But, I mean, strategically now, this does feel just absolutely insane. Stoke have obviously been down since, what, 2018, 19, and we had Gary Rowett spending tons of money, and then we had Nathan Jones and Michael O'Neill, and then austerity and stadium sales, and I can't even think who else was in there. Dean Holden for a minute, and Alex Neal, and now Stephen Schumacher, and who the hell's next? I mean, the cliche kind of comment to say here is, Maybe there is somebody lined up and they know who's actually going to be coming in to replace Stephen Schumacher. But my initial reaction, and after I retweeted the announcement, the reaction of those people I've spoken to, the brief number on Twitter so far, is just of absolute shock at this decision. I am a giant fan of Stephen Schumacher, who actually, Ryan Lowe, his old counterpart at Plymouth, Um, is the other kind of sacking this season in the championship. Um, And Schumacher was just excellent at Plymouth. And, you know, as an Ipswich fan, for him to beat that well-moneyed, brilliant Ipswich team to the League One title, um, and then obviously the Ipswich team then went on to bounce straight through the championship and get promoted under Kieran McKenna. For him to do that was a magnificent job. And it felt like Stoke were getting a kind of hot hand young, really exciting manager. He took the jump from Plymouth to Stoke last season. Some people said at the time, oh, I don't necessarily think you should be doing that. You can be a big fish down at Plymouth and Stoke can eat you alive. And well, bring your tweets back up because if you did say that, you were absolutely right. Um, I can't fathom this. I'll leave it at that. We're going to be on the Championship Check-In podcast um, with Sam Parkin tomorrow talking about this I just cannot see how you can grow as a club if you continually turn over managers and at Stoke it's not just been managers it's been entire squads of players as well there's been like giant transfer windows for Rower and Michael O'Neill before and um, Alex Neal at the start of last season it feels like a reset every season for Stoke and they need to choose something and stick to it else they are going to be in championship purgatory for the longest time. I don't understand it. I don't agree with it. Unless they pull out an absolute masterstroke for the next hire, um, I'm struggling to see how I'm going to agree with it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Stephen Schumacher, shockingly easy for me to say, sacked by Stoke.